The Human Rights Committee of the Council of Representatives expressed its rejection of the comments by the UN Commissioner with regards to human rights in Bahrain, saying that what was delivered during his speech was more of a political rather than legislative comments. The committee added that the initiatives and achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the field of human rights are aimed at the people of Bahrain's interest, highlighting that Bahrain is a state of law and institution and has a reformed project and democratic march that is very keen towards its people's interest. The committee asserted that the judicial authority in Bahrain enjoys decency and independence, and its rulings are based on transparency. It added that measures taken against violators were based on law and are in line with the legal procedures. And it went on to say that the Kingdom of Bahrain adheres to the laws that protect the rights of its people and freedom in the country is in accordance with the law and the constitution. The committee went further to say that over the past 10 years, Bahrain has witnessed reforms and human rights initiatives that are considered unique and civilized, highlighting that the subjective statements and comments against the kingdom are one-sided and do not reflect reality and need to be reviewed and reconsidered by the Human Rights Council. The Human Rights Committee at the Representative Council voiced disappointment with the speech of the UN Commissioner against the Kingdom of Bahrain for not reflecting reality and Bahrain's developed human rights record. The committee expressed thanks and appreciation to Bahrain's delegation participating in the 33rd meeting of the Human Rights Council for their efforts in standing against false accusations, which targeted the Kingdom of Bahrain. It also expressed its thanks to the representatives of the GCC and other friendly countries who affirmed their support to the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Gulf Cooperation Council member states voiced support for Bahrain's human rights efforts, opposing the UN High Commissioner's ignorance of the Kingdom's achievement in protecting fundamental rights. Reading a statement in the name of the GCC countries before the 33rd session of the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva, Saudi Arabia's UN representative, Faisal Tarad, stressed that Bahrain has made leading strides in the field of human rights, including the establishment of the National Foundation for Human Rights, Ombudsman General Secretariat, UNHCR for Protection of the Rights of Prisoners and Detainees, and many others. The statement affirmed the GCC country's full support of Bahrain to continue its plans and projects to enhance human rights. They hailed Bahrain's full cooperation with the Human Rights Council and its support and cooperation with the UN High Commissioner. Tarad added that cooperation, trust between countries, and respect for their sovereignty and the adoption of the professionalism and non-politicization can help overcome challenge. He affirmed the GCC's firm stance towards the globalization of human rights, but this does not mean the imposition of principles and values that are incompatible with the teachings of Islam. He expressed rejection to the humanitarian situation in Syria and affirmed the GCC country's firm stances towards Syria to maintain its unity, peace and stability. He also affirmed the GCC's keenness to maintain security and stability of Yemen and protect its legitimacy praising the report of the Yemeni National Commission of Inquiry, which succeeded in providing a good model in accordance with the international standards, pointing out that the GCC countries see there is no justification for the High Commissioner's call for the establishment of an international investigation committee, as the National Committee of Yemen has made great developments. Saudi Arabia's UN representative, Tarad, also expressed rejection of the continued Israeli violations of the human rights in the Palestinian territories. He also noted that the UN High Commissioner report should have included the increased discourse of hatred and Islamophobia that are witnessed lately. Saudi Arabia has affirmed its unwavering stance that promoting human rights worldwide does not mean imposing principles and values that contravene Islamic teachings. The Saudi representative to the United Nations and other international organizations in Geneva, Faisal Tarad, stressed in a speech before the UN Human Rights Council that states are responsible for boosting human rights, while the role of the High Commissioner for Human Rights Office is only to assume this responsibility while respecting their sovereignty. Kuwait's permanent representative to the United Nations and other international organizations in Geneva, Ambassador Jamal al ghanim said Bahrain's efforts to promote human rights require respect and praise. al ghanim told the 33rd session of the UN Human Rights Council that the model presented by the Kingdom of Bahrain in dealing with human rights dossier deserves all the respect and appreciation and they must be matched by issuing encouraging signs. The United Arab Emirates permanent representative to the United Nations and other international organizations in Geneva, Abed Salem al zaabi also regretted that the UN Human Rights High Commissioner ignored in his update the efforts made by the Kingdom of Bahrain to provide a rapprochement ground for all parties to overcome this difficult stage. 
in Jordan. The Minister of State for Media Affairs and Communications, Mohammed Al Momani, criticized the remarks by the High Commissioner for Human Rights regarding the human rights conditions in Bahrain. In statements carried out by the Jordanian Petra News Agency, Momani said, Jordan is confident Bahrain would honor its commitments towards human rights and public freedoms.